My wife and I were married for 11 years. I fell in love with my wife because she'd been through heartbreak. I know that sounds surprising, but what she had to go through helped her to mature and understand what it means to be in a serious relationship or so I thought. After we were married for 11 years, I trusted her with everything I had, including my heart. I never sought out another woman in all those years because I never felt the need to. My wife and I talked about things, had amazing sex, and spent quality time together often. We didn't have kids yet because when I was young I had a vasectomy and pretty much accepted at this point that I wasn't going to bring new children into this world. One day, my wife asked me how I felt about adopting a child. I was surprised but excited that she brought it up. I said we should do it. My wife was ecstatic. This exciting time wasn't meant to last, though. Over the next few weeks, she didn't mention it again. I was expecting to hear what the next steps were to adopt, but it was like she forgot all about it. Besides that, she seemed embarrassed. Like something happened one day that she couldn't tell me. Then she just started making really bad decisions. It was like the smart and sensible woman I married was gone, replaced by a clone with delusional thinking. She was changing her mind constantly, eating fast food for the first time in years, and wasting money. Suddenly, she didn't want to go to the grocery store because she felt overwhelmed about what meals to cook for us. I signed her up for therapy with a psychiatrist, fearing she was going through some kind of life crisis. Even though the twice-weekly appointments were expensive, I thought it was necessary for our marriage and as preparation to adopt. I never would have thought that my caring decision to get my wife's psychiatric help would lead to what happened. My wife seemed happy and a little more optimistic after a month of therapy. She was glowing, but her thinking was still pretty scrambled. Whenever I tried to talk to her, like we used to do so well in the past, it never got anywhere. She would just say she didn't know why she felt the way she felt, but the therapist had great suggestions to keep her from getting too overwhelmed. We had sex, but it was less frequent. I wasn't in the greatest mood when I was at work one day and got a phone call from the state police. The officer advised me to stay calm, that he had some news for me, but of course that only made me more anxious. He said there was an ongoing investigation concerning my wife's therapist. After the initial report, several more witnesses had come forth with claims against the man for sexual misconduct. He was having sex with his clients. The officer asked me if I wanted to press charges too, because he found out my wife was one of his clients. I dropped the phone. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Fear and heartbreak gripped me. I sped home. I found my wife crying in the bathroom. She showed me a positive pregnancy test, and with shaky hands a weak smile, said it must be a miracle. I almost slapped her across the face when she said that. I told her I just spent 11 years and thousands of dollars on her, only for her to cheat on me with her psychiatrist. And now, she conceived his child. I was screaming at her. She was sobbing, sitting on the edge of the tub, holding her face. She tried to say she was sorry for what happened but she was fine now. If we could move past her infidelity and delusional thinking, we could finally raise a child together. I just stared at her with my jaw dropped. Was she serious? I told her what she just said was a perfect example of delusional thinking and why we were getting a divorce. She yelled like she couldn't believe it. I just casually added that an officer called and told me I could press charges against AP for malpractice and assault. I started furiously packing her bags, knowing that in a few months, none of her clothes would fit. So much for adopting a child together. So much for the past 11 years I built trust with this girl. I told her all this, and she just cried and asked me pointless questions, like would I stay with her if she got an abortion. She wasn't really upset until she knew she wouldn't have AP or me to love her anymore. So she was alone and pregnant with a bastard child. She sat on the floor in a zombie-like trance. I called back the officer and told him I wanted to press charges because my wife was pregnant with the therapist. The officer was even shocked and apologized to me. I told him it wasn't me he needed to feel sorry for. I was going to keep moving forward in life and leave her in the dust. He was on speaker when he praised my strength and wisdom. The officer was also cheated on by his ex-wife, but he married a much better woman in no time because he was a high-quality man in demand. He encouraged me to focus my energy on the same and wished me luck. My wife was in the fetal position, looking ashamed, 
I told her to get in my car. I drove her and her stuff to her parents' house. I no longer saw her as the woman I married. It was strange how suddenly she forced me to learn that anyone is capable of anything at any time. It doesn't matter what's going on. Someone can do something they'll regret for the rest of their life. I refused to forgive her for doing this, even if it was a mistake. I tried to help her, and she betrayed me. She was still sane enough to decide her actions. When we showed up at her parents, she hadn't even told them what was going on. I had to explain everything, and when I said she was pregnant with his child, they all started sobbing. I left them like that, with all my wife's stuff on their dirt driveway. I'm happy to say I followed through with divorce, got to keep my house, and didn't have to pay her alimony or child support. She was kicked out of her parents' house and is raising a baby on her own at the age of 40, while AP continues serving time. OP, I am so sorry your wife cheated on you with a man you intended to help her. This was completely strange and uncalled for. Maybe your wife was having some kind of life crisis, but this never should have happened. It was up to her and a trusted professional not to do anything that would jeopardize her marriage or his career. They both failed, and apparently he failed several times with other women. They both deserved the consequences they faced. She was ready to claim a miracle before telling you what really happened. I'm relieved that you received a call from the police and found out what the therapist was really up to. Then, as if by chance, your wife is pregnant for the first time after 11 years of marriage. There's no way it could have been your child. Karma seems to be on your side. There's women out there who have sound minds and respect and love their husbands. Life is best enjoyed with selflessness and appreciation for the people that give themselves to you. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's get into our second story for today. I, 44 male, met my wife. 37 female, online. She was from a foreign country, always very curious about the US. I just thought her excitement was adorable. I knew she would jump at the opportunity to live with me, so after online dating for several months, I paid her way over here. When I met her in person, I realized the phone didn't do her justice. She was a model. Her skin was always glowing like she just stepped out of a dream. Maybe her beauty hypnotized me but she seemed like an amazing, caring woman. She was independent, without children, and never really had a serious relationship before. She was well-educated and wanted to see new places. Before either of us knew it, she had been living with me for a while. I loved having her there every morning and night. I went off to work, and she took care of the house. She started a vegetable garden and took over grocery shopping. She cooked her country specialties for me every day. Our happy little life together was thrown a curve ball when we were given 90 days to get married and arrange her citizenship papers. That wasn't very much time, but I hardly hesitated for one moment to marry her. I never wanted her to leave. She used her time as a homemaker to make my life more meaningful. I looked forward to coming home to her every day to eat, talk, and make love in our beautiful home. Before her citizenship was brought to question, she told me she wanted to work a part-time job. Since she also had things to do around the house, I arranged for a gardener to start working with us as soon as we returned from our honeymoon. That way, she wouldn't have to worry about keeping the vegetable garden free of pests or mowing the lawn. Before I met her, I was usually the one to mow the lawn, but now I just wanted to spend time with my gorgeous wife. It seemed fate was smiling upon me. The gardener got to work, planting and caring for flowers, vegetables, and fruits. At least once a week, he would bring my wife a beautiful bouquet of flowers or prepare her a fruit basket. I knew he was doing this for her, but I didn't realize he was romanticizing her. As I understood it, these gestures of kindness were to make the missus happy on behalf of the man paying the bills and gardener's wages. I walked in on them one day when I got home from work. He was helping her in the kitchen with dinner, and I just happened to see his arm around her waist. It was in a moment where he was scooching by, in the tight space between the counter and the island. Still, it wasn't that tight. He didn't have to be up against her in order to get through. He just wanted to feel her. When he saw me, his expression was that of fear. He might have needed to change his pants. I didn't waste any time. I asked him why I just saw him touching my wife. She gasped and spun around. She told me to hush, that I didn't need to worry, I just walked in at an awkward moment. 
There was nothing going on between them, and dinner was almost ready, so she suggested I change into something more comfortable and forget about it. She was so assertive and charming by how she responded to the situation. It was hard for me to do anything except what she suggested. Still, my gut told me something was up. I secretly installed security cameras. Of course they were more expensive because they were like spy cameras. I waited a few weeks before checking them. From my perspective, my wife was innocent and acted completely normal around me. I was in my office when I looked through the footage until I found the most startling thing I ever saw. My wife, with the gardener on top of her, on the living room couch. She was cheating on me less than a month after our honeymoon. I let out a gasp and started crying. My hands trembled as I called her. She answered breathlessly, but elegantly. She asked me if I was on my way home yet because she couldn't wait for me to try what she made for dinner. I told her I just checked the security camera footage and she needed to start packing. I also told her that I saw her having sex with the gardener and she could kiss her citizenship papers goodbye. With tears flowing and a thick accent, she tried telling me what happened in the living room was nothing. Then she asked how I saw them. I told her nothing she had to say mattered. Our time playing house was over because it was clear she didn't want to do it for real. I told her to start packing and be ready to board a plane back home. Without me willing to sign her papers, she only had two choices. She could stay in my house without permission until she gets deported or willingly leave with my help. It took some persuasion and threats, but she got into my car with all her stuff, and I put her on the next plane out of the US. I filed for an annulment, so it was as if our marriage never happened. I was the first American man she ever met. She married me and cheated with the second American man she met. Wow, what a senseless, expensive mistake that cost you both. The wonderful American marriage she so desperately wanted wasn't as easy as sleeping with the next man. She obviously had no self-control or common sense. She had goals and presented herself as a smart woman, but that only lasted as long as her self-control. I'm so sorry you were tricked into loving this woman, OP. Even though this happened, it's clear you got out of this lucky. Had you never caught her cheating, she might have been the one to eventually divorce you. It's wonderful that as soon as you had a gut feeling, you installed security cameras. That's a wise step to take when a spouse is suspected of cheating at home. A successful marriage rests on the honesty, self-control, and goals of both individuals. Sometimes it's impossible to know how another person is going to behave, and when this happens, people would be wise to follow your example. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to today's stories. If you enjoyed listening, please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment below with your thoughts on what happened. If there is a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Take care.